Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Today we get to move our rocks on from stage three to stage four, which is the polish stage. This is the most fun. However, it is also the longest running um, time that you're gonna put your rocks on the barrel for. So after we add this polish today, we're actually gonna leave our rocks on the tumbler for two weeks, which yes, is a long time, but it really does help to ensure that they end up with a beautiful shine. So first what you're going to see is me moving the rocks on from their previous grit and then adding in a a soapy bath so we're gonna do that first I usually like to do that for at least several hours to overnight to a full day and then we'll actually be able to move them on to the polish stage if you like this kind of video make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and if you're new here consider subscribing to this channel I make new videos like this every single week so let's get started it is time to move these on I am pretty excited because we get to move these on to the polish stage and that's gonna be awesome because then it means they're almost done. So before we do that, of course, it is time for us to do our wash. So let's wash these bad boys off and we'll rinse them off here. I always like to do the lid first, just scrub it off a little bit. Now I am doing this a little bit later than I usually do. I like to try to get this part done in the morning so that I can get the wash cycle done throughout the day and then that evening put on the actual grit. However, I was unable to get to that today. So <laughs> it's actually kind of like early afternoon. So I think what I might do is just have these tumble overnight and then tomorrow we will put them in the grit um, cycle as well. I also really should have a toothbrush here <laughs> instead of just using my finger. It will get the grit off better than using your finger, but I forgot that, so that's okay. Also, if you ever need to rinse your rocks longer, you can always let them go. I mean, really as long as you want, but some people go up to like 24 hours. I just find that you really don't need that long to rinse them. <laughs> they kind of can be rinsed, I think, pretty successfully within just a couple of hours. Well, maybe like several hours. But I think it might just get a little bit too late to do them tonight. And I really wanna make sure that these get nice and clean before they go into the polish. I also am noticing that these have lost actually like a pretty significant amount of their mass, like they seem a lot smaller than when we first started. A lot of them seem pretty tiny. But overall, I think they're doing good. Here's my favorite one. Ugh, I just love this one. It is so pretty. I think that this is called, is this a picture Jasper? I believe that that's this, what that is. Got a nice, another little red Jasper here. But yeah, they're turning out really good, I think. They're starting to feel really, really smooth as well which is nice to see because I was a little bit worried about these guys. So overall, I would say doing pretty good. Let's rinse them off just a little bit more here. And put them, ooh, look at this pretty one. I like the color on that. It's very vibrant yellow. So we'll put them back in the tumbler here now for the wash cycle. I was a little concerned before about not having enough ceramic media since it is getting relatively low in my little tumbler barrel here because you want to keep it at two thirds to three quarters of the way full. But I actually found some more ceramic media, which was pretty cool. It was the polishing ceramic media. So a lot of the times people like to keep ceramic media that you use for polish separate from the ones that they use for like the other tumbling. And I forgot that I actually did that myself. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. And here it is. <laughs> kind of cool about this is like it's already polished and looks shiny which is kind of interesting so let's put some of that in here and I'm just gonna use all of it that is a much better level than where we had it before so we'll add some water now and we'll add the Ooh, okay too much water forgot I already added some <laughs> there we go that's that's better and now we'll add just a couple drops of dish soap and we'll get it back on the tumbling barrel Okay, it is time to move these on now. They just got done with their wash cycle. So we're going to be moving them onto the polish. I am so excited. It's going to be awesome. Um, it is a little bit windy here. I'm not sure if you're able to tell, but we'll see. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. So let's take a look at what they look like out of the soapy bath. Oh, 
I always think that looks so cool. We'll rinse off the lid. There we go. And let's take a look at what the water looks like. Oh, okay. Actually not too terrible. Now I did add that extra ceramic media, which I think really has helped or really will help so that they don't end up cracking and kind of bruising each other by not having enough kind of just stuff in there to tumble along with. So let's give them a little rinse and we'll see how they are looking. They feel really good. I always like how they feel after they get done with the wash cycle. They just feel like, I don't know, clean, smooth, I would say. Dump that out. Ooh, oh, look at those guys. Look at that cool one. I don't know if I've actually looked at this one yet. That one's pretty neat. Looks like it might be a little agate. I'll have to look at it closer. So let's rinse them off just a little bit more just to really make sure we get all the soap off of them. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Here's another look at them. And you can already tell, like they're, they are really rounding out and kind of getting more of a smooth finish. So I'm hoping that the polish stage is really gonna make them pop. So we will take our tumble bar tumbler barrel here again. We'll put our rocks back inside. This is always the part uh, that is difficult so I don't spill them everywhere. Ooh, that's a cool one. It's got lots of color on it. Uh, and uh, I just spilled the ceramic media. Oh well. So many tiny little pieces, it's hard not to. So we'll get all this in here. Ooh, I'm really spilling today. And then we will add the water and then we'll add the grit. And with this, like I said, we'll be doing this for two weeks instead of the one week. I just think it ends up having a better shine when you do it for two weeks. Personally, you could probably get away with one week and be just fine. But I just like to do two because, you know, if we're already going to be done with the process, we might really, might as well really make it look good, you know. I've already spent so much time on them. So we'll get the rocks here about that level with water and sometimes people do add more of their grit or their I'd say polish to this stage but I found that just adding the two scoops is fine sometimes I add more it just kind of depends for this one I probably will just use two scoops again um, and like on here it says 1.5 tablespoons per pound of rock but like I said I think I'll probably just use two scoops but I like to do two heaping scoops, so maybe that would end up being like 1.5 tablespoons. Because, oh, there we go. Um, just because I think it still does the same, same job. So here we go, got one heaping scoop. And two heaping scoops. You can see the wind really taking that polish away. It is very, very fine, so. Like I always say, make sure you don't breathe it in. Oh, I forgot to show you. So this is 1200 fine aluminum, aluminum oxide and it is step four final polish. So here we go. Let's rinse this little guy off because we don't want to contaminate any future barrels. And you can see, it's kind of what it looks like. Ooh, looks so creamy at the top. That's so weird. Huh. I've never seen it like that. All right, let's put the lid on. And uh, 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 if I can get it on, I really should have wiped this off. You can see how wet it is, but you know me, I'm always really good at uh, not remembering a towel. <laughs> one day, one day. I think I say that every time, but one day, we'll see. Get this twisted back on. Do, 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 do. And then we have to put it on for two weeks. I always like to give it a good shake too just to really make sure we got all that fine powder kind of mixed in before it starts tumbling. All right, there we go. Well, that looks like it about does it. We will be putting these on for, like I said in the beginning, two weeks. So I won't be making another Tumble With Me series video next week. We will have to wait two weeks to finally take a look at our rocks, but I am pretty excited to see how they turn out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. I make new videos like this every single week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!